for making this video because of my last video, which I hope I remember to upload before this one. But it's telling the difference between the common megalodacne species in North America, the red banded fungus beetle, and a pleasing fungus beetle. So if I click on these, you can see this is the pleasing fungus beetle. And if you look here, that looks like a teardrop. And you look over here, that's a circle. And it's not up here. The pleasing fungus beetle has the teardrop. The red banded fungus beetle has the circle. The pleasing fungus beetle has like little C's. It's like curved over here to make like a little cave. The red banded fungus beetle does not have that. It doesn't like making caves. And also, which in most photos you cannot use this to identify because it's barely invisible, the pleasing fungus beetle does not have little puncture lines. On here, you can barely see them. There's one right there. Right there. I think there's one right there. That might just be a line. There's one right there. One there. You can probably barely see them. But yeah, that's the differences between a red banded fungus beetle, scientific name, Megalodacne fasciata. That's hopefully how you pronounce that. And a pleasing fungus beetle, scientific name, Megal Megalodacne heroes. That's, that's the differences. Goes with the last video. And now, to avoid copyright. This video was taken by Cottonus. And it's on Flickr. At this link. This is not my image. This is Cottonus's image. I do not own this. He does. He or she. They own it. This photo was also not taken by me. That photo is way too good to be taken by me. It was taken by Katja Schultz. And on INAT, Trigro, that's the username. This is not my photo. This is their photo. Now that I've avoided copyright, that'll be the end of this photo. And, not the end of this photo, the end of this video. And here is a, this is one of my things I've observed. Goodbye.